Dave Spar is here with your weather forecast. And Dave, can we expect some rain pretty soon? Yeah, on our seven day forecast, you're going to like it. I actually found another little opportunity for rain, looks like, as we get into Friday as well. So we have All like right. three shots. And then even in the following week, there looks like a little opportunity too. So we're on to something delicious here. Really <laughs> want to check into those winds, though. We've been talking a lot, of course, what's going on up around Carquina Strait. And we still have those onshore winds that go right off towards the delta. That's somewhat typical. But the general flow pattern is. You can see around Vallejo coming in from the north. That's the concern, and it's already fairly dry out there. So let's go forward with what the winds tell us. There is a switch for everybody that happens late afternoon. Now, the wind advisories, the, the uh, red flag warning that all's going to expire by the time this ma uh, time stamp is. However, going forward overnight, Tomorrow, this is what we got going on for your morning commute tomorrow, by the way, should mention. Probably have a little bit in the way of some winds working in that rain that we've talked about here. There you see, again, continuing onshore all the way through Tuesday. Live shot of Half Moon Bay and again, some scattered clouds to make note of. But even though we'll see a lot of sunshine today, a little cooler flow pattern coming in from the northwest. This is all the hallmarks of a winter type like system we have. Temperature check 47 Concord, 48 for uh, Novato, 53 San Francisco, 55. Meanwhile, for San Jose today, mostly sunny, breezy, wind advisory, north and east bays. There's a little bit up around Mount Hamilton, too, as you get down to the South Bay. Tomorrow, early rain showers going on, then clearing and chilly, 50s and 60s will be working in here. And then for this week, it's rain Monday. We talked about Thursday, Friday edition. And then it looks like sudden clouds through the whole week with 60s working. So in between the rain drops, rain drops will have uh, temperatures that are around the 60s with, again, a lot of sunshine. Boom, there's the first hit on Monday. And then as we get into around Thursday, there's another juicier flow, noting mountain snows to make up for the melting we had last week. And then another hit happens here into Friday. That's the new thing. Uh, hopefully that'll hold together here. We're starting to get further out. When you get further out in the forecast period, you start to lose the chances that that's going to happen. But that certainly looks nice into the following Tuesday. How about that? Four zone forecast for this Sunday. Cooler than yesterday, 64 San Francisco, keeping it in the 50s and the lower 60s along the uh, coast. 64 Burlingame to the south. South, it's still all 60s in the southern end of the peninsula, getting close to 70, though. In the South Bay, they still got those lower 70s, but not those middle to upper 70s we saw yesterday. 70 for Santa Clara, Cupertino, 69. Upper 60s along the East Bay shoreline, 71 for Livermore, Pleasanton, uh, Walnut Creek at 73, Concord, 74, 70 for Richmond. Looks like 74 for uh, Fairfield, 71 going on for Napa in Santa Rosa at 72. However, it's mostly 60s this week ahead with the sun dodging in and out. Monday's going to be downright chilly, 57. You got winds working too. Lower 60s all week. Got a chance of a shower on Friday. That's a new little wrinkle in our forecast. And bay temperatures, meanwhile, will be in the 60s and 50s and cool 50s hugging the coast. Stephanie. All right. Thanks, Dave. Glad to see some.